Coming up to the stage, a little bit more comedy. Give it up for Robin Pates, everybody. Robin Pates. So this guy waves at me. So I wave back and ask, how are you? You know, classic, right? He replies back, just being a human. <laughs> sure, yeah, makes sense. <laughs> Have you ever heard the uh, song Friday by Rebecca Black? You know, Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. I've never heard that song played publicly after Wednesday. <laughs> it played twice where it was on Monday. Twice. Rebecca told me she's looking forward to the weekend weekend, the day after mine ended. It's not a good fit, Rebecca. My buddy says I stopped taking melatonin and it made me sleepy. Why'd you start taking it then? You just wanted gummies? Hey, ooh, berry flavor. Hmm. Oh, these are so addicting. What's in these? Right? Living with kids, Sometimes they hit you with truce. They shouldn't know yet. She says, red roses give me red flags. <laughs> what? <laughs> She's not wrong though, think about it. If it isn't Valentine's Day, your anniversary, or the night of the big dance, and they walk in with a bouquet, your first thought isn't, aw, what a surprise. It's, uh-uh, what did you do? <laughs> right? We see a Fox Racing logo. Now, I know a fox is named for its thick, fuzzy tail, but when a kid says, it's weird to name an animal fox when it's white and orange, then adds, why does the name fox sound like a bad word? <laughs> I forgot all about the furry wand dust <laughs> in the back of this thing, and I'm thinking, what the fox is foxy about a white and orange animal? <laughs> I mean, really, just, kids used to go outside and play, right? I mean, doing who knows what with who knows who, like, that's when they would see a fox, right? Uh, but now parents are so afraid that their child will be stolen like an unchained bicycle. <laughs> so they, they just lock them inside like they're signed baseball cards. <laughs> so that your kids can waste your money online or have some adult yell at them to get a job because they just beat them in a video game. <laughs> Technology is sterilizing childhoods. We tried to play Ding Dong Ditch recently. Have you played that? Walk the block, knock on someone's door, run away, they answer the door, <laughs> no one's there. Ah, gotcha, so good. Yeah, everyone has ring cameras now. If they don't, the neighbor does, someone's catching it. Yeah, and those things record. So they're posting your failure to their social media and it's trending. <laughs> I knocked on the wrong door at 10 p.m. That stranger didn't open the door. An unfamiliar voice came from their doorbell. Can I help you? <laughs> so, yeah, we're going the wrong way. It used to just like you hear something and you think, I'm gonna test this. I'm gonna find out for myself, right? I heard the rhyme. Jumping on the bed. One fell off, bumped their head. Now there's no more jumping on the bed. That stopped me? No, I jumped on the bed. Did I fall off? Yeah. Did I bump my head? No. I broke my clavicle. You live, you learn, right? Intentionally learning life lessons from TikTok is like intentionally ordering a veggie burger from In-N-Out. My vegetarian friend ordered one, wondering, ooh, are there patties made with corn or beans? Maybe mushrooms. Then they hand him a cheeseburger without the meat. <laughs> Nothing between those buns but condiments and cheese. <laughs> His face was like Milton from Office Face. He just, it, like a blood vessel popped. He was just like, I could set the building on fire. <laughs> I laughed so hard I choked on my animal style fries. <laughs> The food you have here at Dirty Nellies is so good. I love yeah. it. It reminds me of when I used to do food competitions because I would just eat tons of delicious food. I had to stop till I got a stomach hernia. Uh, <laughs> but I can still eat a lot of meat. So I was dared to go vegan. Every vegan restaurant I went to was trying to trick me using the real master of illusion, tofu. <laughs> you close your eyes and you're enjoying some farm fresh chicken nachos with that real melted cheese, not that liquid can stuff. 
Then you open your eyes, false. It's all tofu. <laughs> My first meal after the vegan dare was lifted, a Big Mac meal. <laughs> Gutsy. <laughs> uh, halfway through the Sandy, I had a Mac attack. <laughs> it felt like somebody just shot me with an animal tranquilizer. <laughs> I'm like, is that Dexter Morgan? <laughs> My body wasn't used to processing any of that. I just started shutting down in the middle of the restaurant. I'm just like, I need a doctor back before I gotta go home. <laughs> like, I told my vegan friends this, and they go, see, you shouldn't eat meat. <laughs> so actually, that proves I never should have left. Yep. Because <laughs> I did two Big Macs for $7 six months ago with a Coke and a smile. <laughs> we freak out when it rains here. Like we're gremlins and getting wet will make us start spawning. It's an outdoor shower with poor water pressure. Take it easy, Gizmo. <laughs> Stop canceling plans unless your plans were sunbathing. <laughs> Have you ever been driving and you ask your passenger if it's supposed to be windy? <laughs> you expect them to open the weather app that's standard on any smart device. No. This one rolls down the window of a moving car. <laughs> yeah, it's windy. <laughs> okay. Thanks. <laughs> It's also windy on one of those cycle rickshaws. <laughs> those people that pedal those bikes to pull you and other people in a cart behind them, they flat out haul. I mean, they're swerving around cars, going up hills, whistling the entire time for some reason. Like, why are you wearing long pants? Get those cookies out, you're putting in some work. I'm like, gonna call one to get me out of here. <laughs> you're awesome, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Robin. Robin Bates. Robin Bates.